NCRT Solutions Chapter Number Four Quadratic Equations Exercise Four Point Three Question Number Six. The problem is the diagonal of a rectangular field is sixty meters more than the shortest shorter side. If the longer side is thirty meters more than the shorter side, find the sides of the field. So it's a problem regarding quadratic equations. Like whatever conditions are given in this problem, we will make quadratic equation and then we will solve it. Okay. Let shorter side is equal to x meters. Let's suppose that a shorter side is this one. It's x meters. And it's given to us that that diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. So we can suppose let length of diagonal equal to x plus 60 meters so this is equal to x plus 60 meters if the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side so we can suppose the length of longer side let length of longer side equal to x plus 30 meters find the sides of the field so this thing is x plus 30 here now if we consider triangle dbc triangle dbc we can apply pythagoras theorem on that in triangle dbc using pythagoras theorem We can write x plus 60 whole square is equal to x square plus x plus 30 whole square. We applied Pythagoras theorem on, on this triangle because this is a right angle here. It's a rectangle given to us, so it's a right angle here. So triangle DBC is a right angle triangle. So now we will solve it. X plus 60 whole square is equal to x square plus 60 square plus 2 times x times 60. This is because a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. And right hand side is equal to x square plus x square plus 30 whole square plus 2x times 30. So this is equal to x square plus 3600 plus 120x and this is equal to 2x square plus 900 plus 60x. Now I can take all the terms present here to the right hand side. So I would write 0 equal to 2x square minus x square because I have taken this x square to the right hand side plus 60x minus 120x plus 900 minus 3600 equal to 0 here oops not 0 here because I have already written 0 so there is no need to write that so we have equation here x square minus 60x minus 2700 equal to 0. This is quadratic equation. Now we will solve it and we will get to know the length of all the sides. So let's suppose that we want to solve it by using quadratic formula. So if we compare this quadratic equation with the general form of quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Comparing both these equations we get a is equal to 1, b equal to minus 60, and c is equal to minus 2700 quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus minus this is x minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a equal to minus b minus minus 60 plus minus square root of b square minus 60 square minus 4 times a, a is 1, 
times C minus 2700 divided by 2A. 2A is 2 times 1 equal to minus minus 60 is plus 60. 60 plus minus square root of 3600 minus 60 square is 3600 plus 2700 times 4. 10800 divided by 2 equal to 60 plus minus square root of 10800 plus 3600 zero, zero, four, four, one. So it's 14400 zero, zero here divided by 2 and it's equal to 60 plus minus square root of this thing 14400 zero, zero is 120 divided by 2. So we have here x equal to 60 plus 120 divided by 2 and 60 minus 120 divided by 2. So in one case we consider this positive sign from here in other case we consider this negative sign. So x is equal to 60 plus 120 is 180 divided by 2 and from here one, minus 60 divided by 2. So here we get 90 from and minus 30. We will dis we will ignore this value because length cannot be negative. We discard it, so ignore it. So we just consider this 90 here. So x is equal to 90 meters, which is length of shorter side so we say that length of shorter side is is equal to 90 meter and length of longer side is equal to which is which we supposed equal to x plus 30 Is equal to 90 plus 30 equal to 120 meters so they are just asking us to find the sides of the field uh, if they would have asked us to find the length of diagonal then we would have put the value of x in this and we will get the length of the diagonal also okay that's the solution of this problem so in the next video I'll be covering question number 7 exercise 4.3 quadratic equations chapter number 4 grade 10 see you guys